Okay, so this is problem 7.1 out of Griffith's Introduction to Quantum Mechanics, edition 3. And there's a few more pa uh, problems from chapter 6 that I want to go through, but I also want to touch on chapter 7 since my exam's also on chapter 7, and that's perturbation theory. And if you wouldn't mind, please like and subscribe. I'd appreciate that. It helps. And let's get started. So suppose we put a delta function bump in the center of an infinite square well h prime equals alpha delta x minus a over 2, where alpha is a constant. Part A says, find the first order correction to the allowed energies. Explain why the energies are not perturbated for even n. Okay, so just in general, I'm going to draw a box. It's going to have a top, but it's fine. So this is kind of what we have. If you can imagine this going off to infinity being our potential and then zero here so this is our hopefully you're familiar this is from chapter two in the textbook and normally you'd get your little wave function you could get something that looks like this and you're gonna get your sine waves the only difference is there's going to be a bump, a delta bump, right in the middle. So it's not exactly an infinite square well. It's uh, close. And we're going to use perturbation theory to find the energies and the correction to the ground state. So part A. So the correction to our energy, the first order correction, is psi sub n zero, h prime, psi sub n zero. Now psi sub n zero would be the unperturbed, uh, what we're using to as our baseline. So if you remember from the infinite square well, the wave function is the square root of two over a. So if this is a over 2, this is a. We have these points at the bounds here. Um, they're calling the length a. So that's what we're using. And then sine of n pi x over a. I probably even have a video on the infinite square well if you're curious about where this comes from. But I'm assuming you're good on that. So we have this, and now we can plug it into this. Uh, inner product and we'll be integrating from 0 to a over the entire length and it doesn't really matter if we're in the bra state like this or the ket state like this because there's no matrix there's no imaginary numbers uh, it doesn't really matter so we'll have 2 over a because they both have a square root of 2 over a and then sine squared of n pi x over a and then we'll have our alpha delta x minus a over 2 dx so the 2 over a and the alpha those are constants that can be pulled out of our integral and we're left with the integral from 0 to a sine squared of n I x over a and then the delta function so the delta function is actually making this a lot easier um, if you don't remember how to evaluate this you find which x value makes this argument zero in this case it's x equals a over two you plug that into this function and that is the integral so very nice actually delta functions make integrals so much easier so it's going to be sine squared of n pi over 2. Okay. So we have this. And notice what happens if n is an odd number. If n is an odd number, you're going to get sine of pi over 2, 3 pi over 2, 5 pi over 2. Sine of n pi over 2 will be either plus or minus 1. 
but sine squared will just be plus 1. So when n is odd, you get sine equals 1. Sine squared equals 1. When n is even, you're going to get sine of uh, 0, sine of pi over 2, sine of 2 pi over 2, 4 pi over 2, and so on. And that's going to be 0. So the part A, well, number one, this is our answer. And number two, it had asked, uh, explain why the energies are not permitted for even n, or not perturbated for even n, because they don't change. So every n will just be zero. So you're going to add zero to your original energy. You're not actually going to be changing anything. You're only changing anything for even n's. And now part B, so that was part A, find the first three non-zero terms in the expansion 7.13 of the correction of the ground state, psi 1, 1. So the equation we're using, this is to find the correction to our wave function, is the summation such that m does not equal n. We have this inner product. And then we're going to divide by e sub n naught minus e sub m zero, and then psi sub n zero. So this is an equation. This is the seven point one three, I think, is what it was in the book. I haven't derived this on this channel. Uh, maybe one day I will. I have it in my notes, but for the purpose of like studying, I just want to work problems. So I'm just going to go from here. Okay, so this is a little big, and it's kind of nice to break it up a little bit. So that's usually what I do. So I'll start with this. This is pretty easy to find. This is very similar to what we had earlier. The only difference is this will have your sign instead of n, it'll be n pi x over a but it'll still have the 2 over a included and that same thing we worked with before okay so just uh doing this we're still going to have our 2 alpha over a that's not going to change we're still integrating from 0 to a but like i said there we're going to have sine of m pi x over a and then just sine of mx pi over a And then we have our delta function still, dx. Okay. So first off, this is for, well, let's go ahead and evaluate this actually. It doesn't, we don't have to plug in that it's the ground state yet, though we could. So let's think of this whole thing as your f of x. And the x value that makes this negative is still a over 2. So we plug in a over 2 into your x's. So if we do that, we'll have m pi over 2 sine n pi over 2. And this is for the correction to the ground state. So that means n equals 1 since it's the ground state. So this whole term is just 1 because sine of pi over 2 is just 1. Okay? So that's good. That's part of what we needed. And then let's find this chain, this difference in energy. This is in the denominator aspect. And again, let's actually remember e sub n equals n squared pi squared h bar squared over 2ma for the infinite square well. So this is chapter 2 stuff. So if we want to find the difference, well, they're all going to have a pi squared, h bar squared, divided by 2ma. 
but this will be n squared minus m squared. But n is again 1, so it's still the ground state. So 1 minus m squared. Okay, so I think we're ready to go ahead and plug this in. So let's find our correction to the wave function. So we'll go for the first three non-zeros. So that's three, five, and seven. Um, it cannot be one because m cannot equal n. So we don't start at one. Um, so we did that. And we're not doing even because the even numbers will just get you zero. So these are the first three non-zeros. And essentially what we're going to do is just plug it in. So we're going to have... Let's do this. Let's give ourselves some space. We're going to have 2 alpha over... That's supposed to be an A, I think. It's bad handwriting. Okay. And then we're going to have times 2 M A over pi squared h bar squared times 2 over square root of a. So this is coming from this term. Can't forget about that. And then we're going to get the terms that we will actually be summing over. So we'll have sine of m pi over 2. Uh, yeah, m pi over 2 coming from this. So coming from this term. We're going to get another sine. Except now it's going to be m pi x over a. So that's coming from the wave function out here. And then we're going to have times 1 over 1 minus m squared. Okay. So this looks good. We have a lot of constants, obviously, but uh, it's fine. So let's see, the A's drop. We don't have to worry about the A's, and we can factor out a lot of this stuff. So we're gonna have root two over A times four alpha M over pi squared eight bar squared. And then the sum from n equals 3, 5, 7 of everything else. Everything with an m in it, basically. Okay. And now we can start plugging in. So we'll have 2 over a. I'm going to just call this beta. I'm getting a little tired, or not the summation, of course, but these collections of constants, we'll call it beta. I'll plug it in at the end. Times, let's see, we'll have sine of 3 pi over 2. Sine of 3 pi x over a and then times 1 over 1 minus 3 squared, that's 8, plus sine of 5 pi over 2, sine of 5 pi x over a, times 1 over 24, plus sine of 7 pi over 2, sine of 7 pi x over a times 1 over 48 okay so let's see sine of 3 pi over 2 and then we're going to have sine of 5 pi over 2 sine of 7 pi over 2. Those are just going to alternate and give us 1 minus 1, 1. 
okay? And then we can factor out a one over eight. And if we look here, a one over eight, well, if we plug in a one over eight, you'll get four over eight, which is a half. Root two over two is one over root two. So I'm gonna plug in now for beta. So this will be one over the square root of two, alpha m over pi squared, eight bar squared. And then you're just gonna get sine of three pi x over a minus a third sine of five pi x over a plus a six as we factored out the one eighth sine of seven pi x over a and that's it that's the correction to the wave function so hopefully that makes sense if it did please give a like and subscribe